Uh, let me just um, flip some switches and uh, punch some buttons here. Okay. Hey, Steve Vance. Bam. Bam and wham a ding dong. All right. So, yeah, so check it out, Steve. Uh, no, no lagging in the video and um, audio today. Everything is synced up. Yeah, I figured it out. Had to do with some setting, do, having to do with screen sharing. Because uh, I was doing some stuff where... Um, I wanted to use uh, two computers. Hey, Sharon. Good evening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. You know, it's, uh, it's that time again. <laughs> yes, it's that time again. Django time tonight. Django Reinhardt. Um, let's see. Oh, I should probably invite invite some groups. That's always fun to do. Um, let's see, share, sunny, and share, share to a group, bam, okay, looking good, all right, so let's do this, boom, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh yeah, <laughs> okay, well, there's a, a private group called Please Unsubscribe, that's pretty funny, um, not going to share there, but I will share there, in there, in there, not there, but there definitely. Um, oh yeah, sure, why not, sharing there, mm-hmm, um, yep, uh, yes, no, yes, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, of course. Yes. I love the one jazz guitar nerds. Oh, Austin's here. Anthony's here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Oh, by golly. Um, let's see. Mm hmm? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll share there. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. 100,000 guitars? 50,000 guitars. Mm-hmm. Boom, pow. Zing, zang. No. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes. Yes, 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 of course, why not? Boom, bang, and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. We are finished, and as always, before we begin... Viewer discretion is advised. Yes, it is, so uh, be careful. All right, so uh, yeah. So tonight I got Barky here. The guitar that barks. And uh, you'll notice that there's no lag tonight. There's no video audio lag. It only took me about three hours to figure it out. But I figured it out. And I got it. We got it. You got it. Now I can't get rid of it. No. All right. So let's, uh, let's kick this sucker off with a little... Uh, uh, whoa, sorry. <laughs> I really, stop, stop. I didn't mean to do that. I really meant to do this. Yeah, that's what I meant to do, because we're going to start out with a little uh, artillery lord, which means loud artillery. Yes, Marilyn, you notice no latency. Better latency than never, right?
think that was still a little on the loud side. I looked like the guitar was in red. So I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to turn it down a little more. Was the guitar a little distorted or no? Let me see. What do we got going on here? Uh, Carol's here. All right. Oh, that's right. Steve, your wife had surgery. Uh, let me see. Let me scroll up here. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, she didn't end up having the surgery. It's very convoluted. The docs think it's a combo of things. Treating me accordingly. Oh, wow. I mean, it's good she didn't get surgery, but it's a bummer she's not feeling better. Yeah, all right. Carol's here. Lydia's here. Carol, my sister. Lydia, my mom. Sharon is here. Glenn Michael Thompson. Hi, just tuning in. Well, you missed it, man. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so uh, I don't know what you guys did today, but today I was in the studio mixing a song called Funk 70. Hmm. And... Uh, so the title was sort of the working title, but then it just became the title title. I called it Funk 70 because it was uh, recorded at 70 beats per minute, 70 BPMs, as they say. And uh, yeah, Sharon said the guitar is only slightly distorted. Yeah, I, I, I turned it down. And um, is that Barky with a Y or an I-E or a Q-U-E? Mm. I think it's... Uh, I think it's Barky with a Y. Yeah, Barky. And, uh, but anyway, so uh, the song is called uh, Funk 70. And uh, it also, uh, I have it written like Funk 70, like 1970. So I have that little like apostrophe 70. Because it is sort of like old school funk from the 70s sounding. And uh, also I, I wrote it when when I was 70, which I am. <laughs> so, so there you go, Funk 70, ladies and gentlemen. And um, if I like if I like the mix, I was gonna I was gonna play it for you tonight, but I was like, well, what if I don't like the mix and I want to change stuff? So I was like, you know what? I'll hold off, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll share it with you. And uh, yeah, so that that's the first of four new songs that I wrote during my uh, time of convalescence. And uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the four songs. Maybe they'll become part of another record. I don't know. Yes. All right. So let's see. What am I going to do now? Ah, I'm going to do a song called Trublint Bolero. And it's a bolero. And it's Trublin. And I just hope I don't... Uh, uh, huh, I don't remember the bridge on it, but I'll figure it out when I get there.
by Menin. All righty. There you go. A little uh, trublint bolero for you. Ah, okay. As if he didn't miss a day of playing. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you. <laughs> my mother says, my finger looks amazingly normal. Yes. Amazingly normal. It's just like stuck in one position, but that's that's how I wanted it. Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Glenn liked it. Thanks, Glenn. Hey, I think that was better. I think there I didn't see any um uh, red line red line distortion happening there on that one. Which is good. It's good to know. Good to do. Ah. All right, I'm going to sing one. But before I do, I'm going to take a sip of this delicious bowl and basket water. Mm. Hey, Julie's here. Julie Sorek, everybody. I don't know if you know uh, Julie, but she is a multi-instrumentalist, singer, band leader, living in Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, very happy to have her here. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Say hi. Hi, howdy. Hey, I, I just found out it wasn't in my newsletter because I just got the call today. Uh, those of you who are local and are uh, so inclined, I'm going to be playing at um, the Elks Lodge in Ossining, New York this Thursday. I'm subbing for the great John Smith because he's, he's doing a full month there. And uh, I am uh, I got asked to fill in, so... Uh, yeah, so there. So if you're around and you're in Ossining, Thursday, 7 to 10, I'm sitting in with Paul Connors, great Hammond organist, John Doty, drummer to the stars, and uh, he plays uh, some of the drums on Putt Lake Toodaloo. Enough of that jibber jabber. Let's play. All right. I got on my voice doubler. <laughs> ah. Let's see.
Take all of me Can't you see I'm no good without you I take my lips I want to lose them Oops Take my arms Ain't never gonna use them Your goodbye It left me with eyes that cry Without you, you took the palm. The walls was my heart. Why not take all? Why not take all? Why not all? take all? Take all of me. Well, not even that one. think he once thought maybe he'd never play again he's on fire oh yeah i'm on fire oh yeah hmm. uh should i see doug at the lodge just two thursdays in a row decisions decisions don't overdo it anthony don't feel compelled there'll be plenty of other gigs bro last week was enough we uh, he and I went out to the show, and it was just raining and windy and gross. It was a great show, though, but it was a lot of dues getting there and back. But yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so I, I got to take this guitar and get it repaired because just like I cracked it over here and over here, now I, I cracked it over here. And I think I cracked it over here because I put my humidifier, I stick it in this F hole. And I think from doing that, I messed it up. All right, there you go. Ah. I know it's supposed to rain this Thursday as well, I know. Yucky. I would say uh, take a pass on this one. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. So what am I going to do next? Doodly do do. I only have like giant print that I still can't read. Let's see. Song number three. Ah, there we go. I did song number three. Wow, that was three songs already? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. Man, time flies when you're playing a uh, gypsy swing. Yeah, we had some rain, huh? Ooh, baby. Yikes. Some serious rain. So, uh... How about a little douce ambiance? Yay. Hey, douce ambiance over here. Thank you. 
Ah, Seth, thank you. Seth is here. Everybody say hi, Seth. Berenza is here. Glenn Michael Thompson sounds great. Thank you, Glenn. All I hear is all my fumbling and jumbling and trying to get the, the left hand to cooperate. But thank you. Thank you for uh, cheering me on. I'm sure it'll only get better. Yeah, yeah. I'm still working on my calluses. I, um, I went and played a, uh, a gypsy jam, uh, a house jam, uh, hosted by this uh, fellow, Tom, who's actually a, a mandolin player. And uh, he hosts these, uh, what he calls, D jams, because it's a Django jam, D for Django. And uh, and we had a blast. I think there was about like eight people there, which is just a perfect size, you know, because when there's like 15 or 20, we have to break into groups. And, uh, you know, so you don't get to see everybody, you know, unless you're like switching around like crazy. And uh, so anyway, so it was good. But I, I played for a solid two hours. And so I knew I needed to uh, rest, rest my little fingers. And uh, so I rested them. And then when I picked up the guitar again, it was like, oh. So I'm still building up those calluses. Um, let's see. What's going on here in the chat bar? Steve said, anyone ever listened to the band called The Lemon Twigs? No, I haven't heard of them. I got to check them out. Uh, they've gotten a lot of exposure. Their sound is a combo of the Beatles, Beach Boys, Birds, and Todd Rundgren. Wow. Hmm. I did um, one session uh, through Shaniki Records. I was the arranger and assistant producer, and uh, we were doing a series called The Soul of R&B, and they got Todd Rundgren to come in and do a session. I got to meet and hang with him, and it was cool. He's such a rock star, you know, and uh, yeah, it was it was very cool, and uh, yeah, so there. Never got to work with the Beatles or Beach Boys or the Boyds, the Boyds. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Give a listen on YouTube if you have a chance. I'm gonna do that. I will do that. The lemon twigs. It sounds delicious. Like a lemon bar. For Easter, Kathy did Easter at our house this year. And uh, she made this like lemon coconut cake from scratch. You know, like like the cake itself was not from a mix. Everything was, by, you know, from scratch. It was unbelievable. We, we ate every last piece of that cake and scrape the bottom. <laughs> Bob Stanhope. Everybody, Robert Stanhope, better known as Bob Stanhope, is here. And uh, great musician, great guy, great author. I am in the middle of reading his newest book. I have the honor of uh, helping him proofread it. And uh, it's a good one. I'm almost done, Bob. I'm on like the last 50 pages. We're rounding third and heading for home and everything is falling into place. He writes these um, detective uh, mystery books and they're all sort of themed around the same person, but of course each case is, is different and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, so if, if you've never checked out any of his books, go online. Pick him up. I think he's got like 17 now or 18 in the series. I've read them all at least twice. Most of them three times. Sharon says she wants Kathy's recipe. Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, Seth said, this is the style I need tonight. Thank you. Speaking of style, I should probably play another tune. Uh, oh, this is a good one. So... This is Moonglow, and Moonglow, I, I thought everybody did this song in C. Uh, but most everybody does it in G, I found out. And uh, it really threw me for a loop because 
uh, I'm I'm used to the um, Stockolo Rosenberg version, so he could get this. So uh, I'm gonna do it in C, is what I'm trying to say. C, say, C, C.
Yeah, little moon glow action. That went pretty good. Yeah. All right. Smash the uh, like bell. Oh, yeah, I probably should take a second and hawk my wares. So, uh, if you're Larry Gindoff, he dug, it just signed on. It's been a while for me. You sound great. Must have been the moon glow or the roses. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Glenn liked the song. Thank you. So may I point your attention up here? near, Right up there. There's my little website. You could go there and find out all about me. Everything you never wanted to know. And uh, while you're there, please be sure to visit the merch store. Please uh, be sure to visit the music store. Lots of stuff there. And you can uh, really help support my cause by uh, purchasing something or downloading something. And uh, over in the corner over here is a QR code. And I think that takes you to the merch store, the music store. I can't really remember. And, uh, yeah. And there's uh, the YouTube channel, in case you're watching this on something other than YouTube, like if you're watching it on Facebook or Twitter. Um, you'll see that down here is my YouTube channel. So be sure to go there. Subscribe, like, share, do all that stuff. Um, I made it to 2,000 subscribers last year. Yay. And this year my goal is 3,000 or bust. So you could help me there. And then also if you look up here, you're way over there, La Bella Strings. That's the, that's the string company that I have endorsed for over 20 years. And uh, they're just, they're great strings. It's a family-run business. Uh, and they're fantastic. I use them on all my instruments, you know, on this, on my jazz guitar, on my telly, on my nylon string guitar, on the electric sitar back there, on my bass. Yeah, everything is labella-powered. And uh, they're great. So, uh you know, if you are in the uh, guitar player and in the market to try some strings that maybe you never tried before, may I uh, recommend La Bella? I love them. Love them like crazy. All right. So enough of that. Yeah. Let's move on. Uh, doodle doo. Ah. Uh, hmm. How about a little swing 42? Swing 42. Now, this was swing 42 because it was written in 1942 by um, Mr. Django Reinhardt. Yeah. Doug, how about a live stream sitar night? That would be hysterical. But uh, I, I, will, I will break it out for a song at some point. But, yeah, I don't think I could pull off, like, a whole song with the sitar. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do something. We'll do a sitar night. I'll have to figure out how to do it, but I think I think we can do it. Yeah. Show of hands, how many people want me to do a sitar night? Okay. But in the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? Swing 42. Thank you. 
Yes, Swing 42. Uh, let's see. Seth, are you related to Mary Behrens from Mayapak? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Making another connection. Connections are being made, ladies and gentlemen. We are connecting. Can't go wrong with a Django song. That's right. Oh, that, that kind of rhymes. Can't go wrong with a Django song. 
Yeah. Julie liked it. Thank you, Julie. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm still working my way back. So, um, you know, these live streams are usually an hour and a half plus, but I'm trying to stick to uh, an hour for now as I'm rebuilding, building up my strength and trying to figure out how to use this uh, finger. It's really bizarre because there's certain things that my hand can't do because it's in a fixed position so I could play single notes. So it's taking a lot of relearning, you know, that it just kind of feels like I have a finger that doesn't belong to me. <laughs> it's like I'm borrowing somebody else's finger. But, uh, but I'm working on it. I mean, I can't really practice a ton yet because I, I still got to build up my calluses, but uh, enough complaining, right? I'm going to end with a song from my dear mother, a song called Nagasaki, written by my great uncle Harry Warren. It's available on the La Pompe Attack record. La Pompe Attack plays the Harry Warren songbook. Can you dig it? It's a little song called Nagasaki. <laughs> Nagasaki with the fellas through the back and the women wicky wacky book. The way they entertain, they could hurry a hurricane way back in Nagasaki with the fellas through the back and the women wicky wacky book. Fujiyama, you get a mama, then your troubles increase. And up a goda, you are a soda, earthquake, milkshake, ten cents a piece. They hug. Is so nice by Django, it's worth the price. Way back in Nagasaki, where the fellas do the backy and the women with the wacky woo. Ten cents a piece. They hug and kiss so nice. By Django, it's worth the price. Back in Nagasaki, where the fellas chew the backy and the women wake wacky woo.
Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Another evening of swing. Swinging that thing. In the style of Django Reinhardt. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Steve, Sharon, Julie, Liza, Glenn, uh, everybody. Arthur, David, Austin, Anthony, uh, Linda, Carol, Lydia, everybody. Glenn, Julie, yeah, thanks, everybody. And uh, I had a lot of fun tonight, and I'll be back here next week. Let me turn off this doubler. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's off. Yeah, I'll be back here next week. I'm not sure what I'll do. It's probably going to be a Latin thing. And uh, I will try and come up with something for that sitar. That would be hysterical. But I, I think next week will be uh, Latin jams. Latin jams next week. What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. We did some gypsy tonight. Do some uh, Latin next week. And uh, that's it. So I, I think I'm about ready to uh, sign off here. So uh, thanks, everybody. Have a great week. God bless you all. And uh, stay safe. Enjoy the nice weather while we have it, you know. And uh, until next time, as always, I wish you love, peace, and uh, just a smidgen of uh, chicken grease. <laughs> all right.